John, I don't want to embarrass you, but <laughs> I really think that you walked away with the movie in stripes. Oh, you were absolutely yeah. superb. Now tell me, inside John Candy, is there really a lean, mean fighting machine just it's, dying it, to get doesn't out? Doesn't it look? <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> look like it. No, um, no, there isn't. No, I'm, I'm quite happy the way I am. So you don't care really if, but I wondered as a matter of fact, if there was indeed a lean John Candy, would that? There is, there is, I guess, you know. But would that uh, uh, harm your, uh, your career as a, in comedy? I don't think so, no. I'm going back, uh, I'm going back to Toronto uh, to uh, an exercise uh, class that uh, takes place at my house. I have this instructor that comes to the house. It's, I did it about a year and a half ago and I kind of let it slide, I let my weight slide too. And uh, right up the scale, too. <laughs> and he comes in uh, once a day for two hours. So it's going to be a month of uh, hell. Month of exercise yes. and I imagine real diet. Yeah, it's, it's pretty strict. I'll, I'll drop 50 pounds in a month. Really? Uh, yeah. That's not good for you to go up and down like a yo-yo, you know. Yeah, I know. Well, I'm going, there's a diet under doctor's supervision, but I have to do it. You know, it's the only way I can do it is he just stays with me all day. You're very handsome. It's I, that, but I wondered if you did indeed become kind of a, a leading man, svelte look guy. Could you have? Isn't it? Is it true that? Don't you think everyone loves a fat man? Uh, I guess. Uh, Why? I, 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 I don't know. I guess they're they're harmless. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, no, if I lost if I lost a lot of weight, I don't think it would uh, affect me that much. It would, but, but it wouldn't change your your style, or it wouldn't change your kind of um, uh, your your kind of humor. No, no, I, I really never play on it anyway. You know, I, I didn't play on it much in the movie. No, you didn't. But, did. you, you, but you played it's on something. It's very obvious. You know, it's very obvious to do fat jokes. You know, I look at guys like Gleason. You know, he he never really everyone else did them on him. Yeah, he reacted to them. You know. But, he never really did any himself. You, know? you played something that was very interesting in that movie. The, the, the guy that can really take advantage in a very slick way mm -hmm. with a dummy. Yeah. And that was quite delightful. You know, John Deal, the actor who played Cruiser, is, is really fabulous. He was nice to work with. Now, how, but did you improvise in this film? How much input did you create? Uh, well, um, uh, Billy and, and Harold and uh, Ivan you know, are very, very generous uh, people. So we, it was uh, the part I had originally, uh, the, the character of Ox, was a smaller part, you know. And they allowed me to, uh, we worked together on it and uh, it grew, and uh, as all the characters did, you know. And working with Bill, Bill never likes to do a, he never says the same line twice. So you just kind of keep, keep going with them. And we've all worked together in the past, so we know each other's little short shortcuts. It isn't disconcerting to work with a group uh, and have them suddenly hit you with a, a new line no, in the I'm middle of No, I'm so shooting. used to doing that, being with Second City. I mean, you're just used to it. It's terrible working with an actor who, who hasn't come from there. I mean, I feel so terrible because I'll change a line in the next reading and they're just <laughs> standing there and you throw their cues off and their timing. Some of them get quite upset working with Second City actors. So you have to have kind of two ways to perform, one with the old-fashioned type actor and one with mm -hmm. the... Uh, uh, well, in the film that, yeah. uh, Stripes, you participate in a nightclub mud wrestling scene with some very well-endowed beauties. Yes. Yeah. Now, tell me, did you have to do much research for that? Is, is that authentic? <laughs> that was authentic, and those girls uh, were authentic uh, mud wrestlers. They were... Uh, Genuine professional mud wrestlers, and uh, very tough, I might add. And they really roll around the mud like that. Yes. Yeah. Is that a popular sport? It's becoming very popular. It's, uh, and I think with this movie, it's going to be. <laughs> I'm helping something that I don't want. <laughs> Does that go on in Canada? Yeah, there are a few places in Canada. Out west, there's a lot of mud wrestling places. Uh, it's slowly working its way. It's slowly working its way east. Is it erotic or funny? It's, uh, I guess it depends on the individual. It was, uh, it was wet and cold for me <laughs> <laughs> and very painful. I was taking my lumps in there. Um, it, it, it's, it can be erotic, I guess. Uh, well, those girls seem to express a lot of hostility. Yes. Yes, I don't know what I said. <laughs> I was trying to find out. And in fact, in the audience just goes up and they, they put some money on the line and if they can, what it, what, we took what is liberties the there. I don't know what the regular procedure is. Usually the girls uh, receive their tips that way. 
I you know, see. They wrestle, and then they, there's a challenge. To, what they usually do is uh, they challenge any male in the audience, and they come out and they pin them. You know, and there's prizes or drinks or whatever. But this isn't going to be one of your favorite activities, I'm sure. It's no, no. I, I don't Tell me, that. John. I'm curious. Can comedy be taught? Are, are there comedy schools? How did you, how did you get started in comedy? Uh, I was very fortunate, actually, being part of the Second City. I, I joined it in, in Chicago. And, uh, but how did you get into that? Uh, through Dan Aykroyd and, uh, and a girl named Valerie Bromfield, a writer. She's going to be having a series of her own this year. They, uh, I was doing a children's theater show, and uh, they invited me down for lunch. And Second City was auditioning, and they had put my name down on, on the list. And I was, as I was waiting for them, you know, there's a lot of people standing around. They called my name out, and I had to go in and audition. And uh, I went in, and I was sent down to Chicago the next week. So I can't, it's, they, they were the ones who did it, really. How long ago was that? 72, 1972. So that's eight years ago. Yeah. Was it, did you find it hard at first? Was it, were the, oh, did yeah, you have a lot well, of hardships? Yeah, and, yeah, it was my first time really away from Toronto, and I was living in Chicago. And, my visions of that were Al Capone and uh, you know, getting getting beaten up a lot. I mean, pretty close in a few <laughs> a few occasions, walking the streets there. But uh, it's learning the whole uh, the American political structure, you know, because uh, Second City is a uh, is a satiric uh, a group. So I had to learn all about uh, graft and corruption in Chicago, <laughs> <laughs> what names to use to get a joke, you know. And Mayor Daley always worked uh, pretty good. But knowing the aldermen, knowing the structures, knowing what, how things work, and I had to do a lot of catch-up reading. You know, I was doing a lot of reading just to familiarize myself with the city. Which is interesting because a lot of people think that comedians are kind of dumb, that they're, they're the butt of the hu of humor, or uh, uh, it's not like a great dramatic actor mm -hmm. uh, who's supposed to have more depth. But the truth is, in order to be funny, you really have to be very bright. Well, yeah, you, you can fake it and. Uh, you can somehow fake Shakespeare. Uh, an actor can go off a little bit, and people who aren't familiar with Shakespeare will just watch him on stage. But if the joke doesn't work, it just doesn't work. You know, they either laugh or they don't. And that <laughs> that's a quick lesson right there. You know, when they're not laughing, you're not doing you're not doing your job. Well, you certainly got a lot of laughs and stripes, and in fact, you're always a wonderfully funny and delightful person. Oh, thank you, Claire. Thank, thank you, John. Much. Thank you very much.